Hello, welcome to NetApp KB TV. Today we are going to learn how to configure AD authentication for cluster when SIFS is not licensed. So the main motive behind this video is to enable the Active Directory users and groups to access the cluster and SVNs when customer is not using SIFS. For example, I have a user called Tanya underscore AD test. I'm going to use this user to access my cluster. I'm going to use my domain user password. Now see that we are being denied the access. So we're going to use some process with the help of which we will be able to access the cluster with the help of the domain user credentials. So for that, we need to have certain prerequisites. The first thing is that we should have a vServer. Here, for the purpose of this video, I already have created my SVM called as SVM01. Second thing that you should have is an interface. So I already have an interface created with SVN01 underscore live and it is associated to the V server that I had already created SVN01. The IP address we have provided. The main thing here that you should be aware about these two fields role and data protocol. Here, the role is set to data and the data protocol is set to none. So just take care of these two factors while creating an interface. Now, the third prerequisite is to have a DNS. So I already have it set up for my SVN01. Now let's move on to our process. Now the first step will be to join the SVM to the domain. So how to do that? We have a command. vServer Active Directory create provide the vServer name account name you can give the same name SVM01 or you can give a different name. I'm providing the same name just from my understanding. Here we can provide the default OU which is CN is good computers or you can provide a different OU as well. Here you have to give a user who has sufficient privileges to add computers to this particular OU, which is CN is equal to computers in our case. So I have successfully created my Active Directory machine account in the domain. The next step will be to grant an AD user and group access to a cluster. So in order to do that, you should create a security login. This will be done with the help of the command security login create. The user group name I'll provide my domain user, which is underscore ed guest. The application, here we are using SSH protocol to connect to the cluster. So I am providing the application as SSH. Authentication method will be domain. So I've successfully created the login for this particular user. Now, the final and the most important step is to create a domain tunnel. So 
I be creating a domain tunnel for my SVM, SVM01. Now this command establishes a gateway, a tunnel, for authenticating Windows Active Directory users to access to the cluster. And this is a very important step. If you skip this step, it won't work. Now let's see if we are able to access the cluster. Now I'm going to use the same user and the domain password. Here we go. We are able to access the cluster. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of while creating a domain tunnel is that you can specify only one authentication tunnel. And also, if the authentication tunnel is deleted, AD login sessions cannot be authenticated by the cluster and the AD users and groups cannot access the cluster anymore. That's it from our end. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.